Hello everybody, it is Teacher Amy and I am here with another Cam Twist tutorial. Now, for those of you who are interested in using the Google Slides along with Cam Twist, but you don't want to have the clutter on your screen of having all of these different uh, windows open at the same time, I have the answer for you. Now, for me, this is how my screen is set up every day when I teach. I've got my reward slides over here, I've got my lesson slides that pop up kind of over my face, and I have the two windows, one down here and one over here, and then I have the classroom right here when I'm teaching. So there is a lot going on and I do have to do some clicking around and figure out where things are supposed to go. But let's say you're a Cam Twist newbie and you wanna start real simple. I have the best solution for you. The only thing that you have to have for this is an iPad or a phone that you can plug in um, to your, to your uh, computer or your laptop while you are teaching. So my iPad is plugged into my computer right now. What I'm gonna do is go over to webcam. Actually, I'm gonna clear out these effects first. So right now it's just using my webcam, so that's all you can see. I'm gonna go highlight the webcam in step one and I'm gonna do a picture in picture. And instead of using the webcam twice, I'm gonna go over to webcam settings and I'm going to use the drop down box and there's my iPad. So now it's putting my iPad screen on top of my face. So I'm gonna go right over here and I'm gonna name this one iPad Big. And I'll tell you why it's big in a minute. First of all, let's go over to the PIP settings and I'm gonna make this uh, as big as it can go so that when I give the reward in the class, the kid will be able to see it very, very clearly. Now, I don't wanna have it over my face the whole time, and you might be saying, Teacher Amy, uh, a VIP kid wants us to have these rewards visible at all times. So here's what you can do for that. You can go over to webcam. Now we're gonna make a third effect that's gonna go in this box here. You're gonna go down to picture in picture again and do the same thing. You're gonna go to webcam settings, and select the iPad again. When you go back to the PIP settings, this time you're gonna make it small. Now I put my rewards in this corner over here. So this is where I like them to be. So now this is how it will look in the classroom when you're teaching all the time. And then when it's time to give the reward, you can just either flip, flip and you can leave this one on if you want, or you can just change it. So then you can go back and forth very easily. Now, what's awesome about this is that your iPad is right here in your lap while you're teaching or over on the side of your desk or whatever, and it's touch screen, so it's nice and easy to use. So if I make my iPad reward big again, oh, and I would rename this one to iPad small so you know the difference. So if I have my iPad big here and I just tap on the screen, now I apologize, there is a bit of a lag going on right now, but I have tested this, I've, this is like my fourth version of this tutorial, and I've tested it a couple of times and the lag only happens during the screen recording. So when I'm not screen recording, this works absolutely just fine. So I don't know what's going on with the lag here, but just trust me that that won't happen when you're in the classroom. So there's my reward and then I can turn it off and make it small in the corner again so the kid can see it during class. So this is just a really simple and easy way for you to be able to use Cam Twist, but still have it be very similar to just having the iPad and holding it up to the screen. The only difference is you don't have to keep holding it up to the screen. I know it sounds kind of wimpy, but holding it up to the screen gets tiring after a while. If you're doing it class after class after class, if you're sitting you know, six, seven classes back to back, it gets tiring. And also you have to worry about the glare. And if you're holding it right, you have to kind of look around the screen and make sure you're tapping in the right place and that kind of stuff is just kind of cumbersome. So this makes it a very simple way to be able to use Cam Twist and have those cool effects on your screen and not have to worry about all those things. But you still have the ease of the touch screen right in front of you. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I hope that this helps you out. If you try it in your class and it works really well, comment and let me know um, because I love to hear success stories. Happy teaching.